named Mary Havertz Dead Spensley. <laughs> but, uh, I've been here 38 years. Hope for another 38. <laughs> we'll see what happens. The summer of 1974, Grant Havertz Dead, my first husband and I, came up, moved to Ridley. Had been fishing here for many years off and on. And uh, it came a little 20 foot trailer, parked it up by the highway, and uh, started breaking a road through in here in 1974. And we got in as far as the top of the hill way out towards the highway and found out we had to cut it down. Ran into a swamp. Had to fill that in, put in some culverts to work our way in. And we got in here that fall with a just a dirt road and built our first building, which was a shop and a garage to store material and started building. And we worked, we rented a place in town, and worked that winter and got a shop and garage and a shower house done in five sites. So our first guest came in 1975. Their great-grandchildren are still coming today. And we continued on and Grant died in 1976. And so I stayed here and then in 1980 the fire went through. Ended up with a lot more land to be cleared in a hurry, so uh, we, I got a government-assisted loan and went ahead with it, re-landscaped, put in some more motorhome sites, and kept going. And, and I met Harry in 1983, and uh, he and I built the two big cabins, and then we built another smaller one, and. We redone our marina twice, so we have a 16-bolt a marina with a lot of anchorage, power on every slip. And we built three different fish houses, which I believe. The first one burned up. The temporary one we remodeled twice, tore it down, and built the one we have now. <laughs> so South Bend Gull Rock has 12 full-service sites with water, sewer, and 50-amp power. So we can run any big rig on the road, any 45-foot crevo you want to bring in, and we get, we get, we get big, big rigs, uh, which is why we had to have a good road. These rigs can't travel on most bush roads. They're too heavy, as we have found out when one of our guests had, had pulled over on his shoulder on the highway a few years ago, and the shoulder sunk, and it was a crevo. They had to bring a wrecker from Winnipeg to get him out. <laughs> Uh, no, it's been a 38 years, a lot of fun, and a beautiful place to live, which is what I look at behind me here. It's what I look at every day. It keeps me happy. Wonderful people come here. Uh, I'd miss them all if I didn't see them every year. And I'd been with them with their happiness, their heartaches, their losses, and their good times. So. But over the years, Skull Rock has become a fantastic walleye northern lake, and that's what people come for. And majority of my guests come from, if you look at the Midwest United States, it's Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Indiana. And I get some from Florida, California. I've had every state in the Union except two. And it wasn't Alaska and Hawaii because I've had them from there. So it's uh, Dear Michael Smith, Lakeside Marine. And he was a kid. He and his family camped out here. He's like seven, eight years old. And for a school project, he did a map of North America and put lines from my camp to every, at that time, would have been in the uh, early 1980s, where all my guests came from. And he kept track of them. That was the school project. It was beautiful. So we've had every province in Canada. Uh, and we've had, I could say, every state in the United States except for two. It's been a wonderful time. I'm enjoying it. And I'm older than God. <laughs> That's it.